Today, I would like to introduce you to SQL Alchemy, a powerful Python library that revolutionizes the way we interact with databases. SQL Alchemy or SQL Alchemy provides a seamless and efficient approach to work with databases using Python, making it a go-to choice for developers worldwide. In this video, we will explore how SQL Alchemy can elevate your Python database experience. Hello and welcome everyone. Today, I will be showing you how to use SQL Alchemy to change Python objects into database entries. Before diving into the details, if you haven't already, subscribe to our Edureka YouTube channel, make sure to do it. And also, I will suggest you to take up the Python certification course. Link is present in the description below. Now, let's get started. SQL Alchemy is one of the most popular library. To start implementing it, we need to first install PyCharm. For that, first open your web browser and go to the PyCharm website. On the PyCharm website, you will find different editions available like Community, Professional and Educational. Choose the edition that suits your needs and click on the download button for the edition. I will prefer the Community one, so here I will click. As you can see, download has started. and after once the download is completed, we can locate the installer file in our system and run it. After the installation is complete, you can launch PyCharm from the start menu on Windows or the application folder and PyCharm may ask you to set up a Python interpreter. You can either use an existing Python installation on your system or let PyCharm download and set up a new Python interpreter for you. So I have already pasted the code here, which I was working on the previous project, so it will be much easier for you to understand all at once and it will not take much of your time also. So as you can see in the first line, I have put as from SQL Alchemy, import create engine, column, integer, and string. So what is create engine here? It is one of the modules in the SQL Alchemy project basically. So it is one of the modules that helps to create connections between the databases. And the second line tells you from SQL Alchemy dot ORM, as we all know, it is a ORM mapper and import session maker. So what is a session maker here? Session maker is a configurable session factory which we will use to connect the database between different type of sessions. So for that, we are using session maker here. And the third line is as SQL Alchemy dot extension declarative. And again, we will import declarative base, which is a system provided by the SQL Alchemy in order to define classes mapped to relational database tables. So we have to map the relational tables with the classes. For that, we need declarative base here. Then we have to create a SQLite in memory database, like a database engine basically. For that, we, we, are, we are using engine equals to create engine, create underscore engine, SQLite and memory. Then afterwards, we have to create a session factory as I already mentioned in the session maker. So for that, we will write as session is equals to session maker, like a bracket by an engine. After that, we will declare the base class for the declarative model as a declarative base. Then we will define the model class by representing a table in the database. You can see we have put three items here, the ID, name, as well as age. So we all know ID will be as an integer value. And here primary key we have set as true. Why it is? Because it will automatically create an ID for the item. So it is a function that creates automatically. And then we will put as name, which will be obviously in string. And then moving forward, we will put as age, which is obviously will be integer. Now we have to define the representative self and then we will return it obviously. So we will keep the return value as user. And uh, here, as we can see, I have written as name is equals to self dot name and age is equals to self dot age. Basically, these two functions will produce with the name as well as age when you will ask for the print results. Now we will create the tables in the database as base dot metadata dot create underscore all engine. So what all engine means basically it is a container object that keeps together many different features of a single database. So a database has many features so it will all accumulate here as metadata dot create underscore all. So for that I have used it here. And then again we have to mention the session we will be using so that it will be much easier for the session maker to accumulate all the data at once and give us the output. And here I have taken as three users, user one, user two, user three. And I have given three names also as well as their ages so that it will print us the output. First name as Aditya and his age is 25. Then second is Ashish and his age is 30. And the third one is Tanya and her age is 35. And as you can see in the last line, I have created like as 
already I have created some user objects. So I will now add users to the session. So how I'm going to do it? I will do at session dot add underscore all user one, user two, user three, and you can make it however you want. Like if you are taking as five users, so you can mention five users here. So it's up to you how many users you are like needing it. And for me, I need three users. So I am putting three users here. Then we have to commit the session so that uh, the code will be completed. Now we have to query the database for all users, like what exactly we want from the Python database to print as. So for that, we are using as users equals to session dot query user dot all. And then we will print the users to get the output. So let's see if the program is correct or not and if it is running or not. Yeah, so it's running. As you can see, it is printing the three users. First user is Aditya, he is 25. Second one is Ashi, 30. Third one is Tanya, 35. So this is how you are using Python database with the help of SQL Alchemy. And it will help you out to print out the results, whatever you want. I hope now you are clear with how to use SQL Alchemy with Python and use it to scale up your task and productivity. So don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Until then, happy learning. I hope you have enjoyed listening to this video. Please be kind enough to like it and you can comment any of your doubts and queries and we will reply them at the earliest. Do look out for more videos in our playlist and subscribe to Edureka channel to learn more. Happy learning!